On today's website, I'm gonna cover a web designer's portfolio who not only has fantastic web design work, but is also doing a fantastic work selling himself and making it easy for clients to say, yes, let's rock and roll. Hey designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal, welcome back to Flux where we discuss web design, design freelancing, and everything you need to know to build a career as a designer. Today I wanna to cover the portfolio of Stanislav and let's dive right into it. So this is basically the portfolio. Basically it says web designer and then it says upside down, you kinda have to look your head up with imagination. So what? Let, first impression here, he's trying to play around with you. There's all kinds of th things here when you play around with this. First of all, it reacts to your mouse, then you need to kind of try to play and understand what he was trying to write here. And then as you move your thing around, you also discover kind of a hidden, uh, a hidden headline which says, hey, my name is Stanislav and this is me in a photo. Now, it basically obviously states what he does, create well-structured website for digital universe in short terms. And then he has this video of himself here, which by the way, we also use in our website. This is called Video Ask and this is a fantastic, fantastic sales tool. Basically, this is him now talking to us and asking ourselves. I don't know if you can hear, but he basically presents himself and he's having a conversation with us. Let me just mute this. Um, basically, he's asking, hey, are you a designer or a business owner? And if you're saying, I'm a business owner, hey, what are you, what are you looking to see? You're looking to ask about the price or I wanna develop my website or something else. And you can basically have a conversation. And he basically tackles the most common question, which is like, how much does it cost to work with you? And he's basically saying, um, well, it depends and he basically answer the question and he's leading the clients or potential clients to have a further conversation. His call to action is to Telegram, which basically I'm not really sure why, but we'll talk about this later. But in general, he's having a conversation. So using video ask like this is a fantastic, fantastic sales tool. Also it shows your personality. You can feel like you're having a conversation with this person and it, it helps you understand, do I like this kind of person? Would I enjoy working with him? So I think this is already a great sales kind of tactic. And then you start scrolling down. He's starting while a lot of people immediately jump into the work. He can, he's immediately starting with how can I be useful for your business, right? And then he's basically talking about what's unique about him, which is he works very, very fast, right? So he can deliver in like three days and as well, as you can see when I move it here, it can also said can be faster. So he's hammering home on his unique value proposition, which is I work very, very fast. Also, again, it's pretty playful here with the colors in the background. So it's pretty nice. You keep scrolling and then you actually get to his portfolio, which you can click to see all of his work, um, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to dive actually into the work just because I wanna show you his actually sales techniques. So again, after the work, again, he comes back into why me? Again, something so many designers don't actually try to tackle, don't understand for themselves why clients should work with them or they feel like, oh, I'm not worth it, please work with me. But he's hammering home why you should work with me. And he's coming up with more and more reasons. So reason number one, he's taking a project from zero to 100. He's basically explaining that because he developed his own website on Tilda and Webflow. By the way, I wasn't familiar with this platform, Tilda, but looks actually interesting because this website was built with it, but he can take the project from zero to 100, that's valuable. Then he's keeping up with trends, that also might be important to you. He can uh, handle the content, he works very fast, You know, he can work with multiple types of clients. So he's talking about all these different things that might be important for you and might be good reasons for you to pick working with him. Again, very, very good salesmanship, I think. He then describes how working with him works and there's this nice interaction here, replacing the numbers. And then he's creating a showreel. Now, for me personally, I know this can be uh, different for other people, but instead of, I would rather, instead of now going and clicking on all of these different case studies, I'm a busy person, I don't like to spend a lot of time. So when somebody gives me a showreel, which basically just bam, 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 shows me a lot of work very, very fast. 
that's all I need. Just looking at these few seconds, I can already tell this guy knows how to design. He's got good eye for layout, typography, color, contrast. So I like this already. Um, what else? He's telling us more about himself and then contact us. So I think, as I said, this website shows his ability, has a lot of creativity into it and a lot, a lot of salesmanship that goes in here. My only, you know, I, I guess he is from Russia just because I saw that, you know, you can translate the website into Russian, but it seems like the obvious or uh, preferred mode of contact for him is Telegram. This just because this is the default Telegram, WhatsApp, call me. Um, and that was kind of like the main call to action. But I would say, you know, I'm based in Israel. We do, Telegram is not super popular. I know that in the US, WhatsApp is not very popular. So I would try to think about what is the, what's what's more in, like, what is the most comfortable way for the clients and I would not assume. So I would not assume that what's most comfortable to me is what's most comfortable to my clients. That being said, perhaps he knows his clients and that's their preferred uh, method and I'm just, you know, just because I'm not working in the same market it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but I do think that it's great that in in the contact, he's giving you all these different um, email and also Telegram, WhatsApp. He, he's letting you contact in whatever way is um, comfortable for you. I would love if that option would also be here in the, um, in the video ask. I basically think that the best thing in the video ask would be to take me to this section where I can actually choose in which way I want to contact. But other than that, I think this is a really, really cool website. And by the way, here at the bottom says it was made on Tilda. And I wasn't familiar with this platform up until today, but it's uh, it's actually pretty interesting because this website is pretty cool. So we'll dive into what is Tilda. Perhaps we'll do a video on it and share our thinking with you. Let me know in the comment below if you want us to review your portfolio website and if you took some ideas from this website, would you like or didn't like about this? And I will see you on the next video. Peace out.